Hi everyone, in this video I want to go over an extremely exciting book on mathematical analysis or advanced calculus. This is the Ross book, it's called Elementary Analysis, The Theory of Calculus. This is a really good book for beginners in advanced calculus or mathematical analysis. The reason this book is so good is because it shows all of the details and the proofs and it has answers to some of the exercises. So this is a really good book to pick up for self-study. I got this book for, I think, less than $8. Let's take a look inside this awesome book. This is the preface to the first edition. It says, a study of this book, and especially the exercises, should give the reader a thorough understanding of a few basic concepts and analysis, such as continuity, convergence of sequences, and series of numbers, and convergence of sequences and series of functions. An ability to read and write proofs will be stressed a precise knowledge of definitions is essential. The beginner should memorize them. Such memorization will help lead to understanding. This book is extremely good for beginners. I actually first encountered this book years ago and I forgot about it. And only recently, thanks to one of the comments on one of my videos, I picked it up again. And I remember that I actually checked this book out of the library years ago and I used it as a supplement when I was actually taking advanced calculus. This is the table of contents. It starts off with the natural numbers and then the rational numbers, the real numbers, the completeness axiom, it talks about the symbols infinity and negative infinity. Then it goes on to sequences, it talks about limit superior and limit inferior. It even talks about some concepts in matrix metric spaces. Really, really cool stuff. Here it continues talking about continuity, sequences and series of functions, differentiation and integration. So it's not a very big book. And this is the best part, selected hints and exercises to some of the questions. So it has answers to some of the questions. Notice the size of this book. It's not actually very big. It's a small book, which is nice. It's kind of nice. You can carry it around with you if you want to like sit outside and read it. It's a good book for some outside reading. Let's take a look further inside this book. This is an interesting section. He titles it, A Discussion About Proofs. So basically, he'll give you something to prove, and then there'll be a short discussion. And it kind of talks about the motivation for the proof and how you figure it out. If you ever watch my videos, I just basically call this the scratch work. And then he goes through a formal proof. So this is very different from other uh, advanced calculus books. Uh, most of the books don't do this. So uh, Ross is really, really trying hard here uh, to show the reader how to actually write proofs. And he does a pretty good job. These are some of the exercises in the section on sequences, and they all look relatively straightforward in the sense that if you read the book, in theory, you should be able to work these out. Now, the chances are if you buy this book and you read it, uh, you will not be able to work all of these out. Um, that is normal, and it is expected. I mean, if you were able to just read this book and do all of these problems on your own, then you have some amazing gift. Uh, you know, this stuff... Is supposed to be really hard but I think this book does a really really good job uh, with the proofs more so than a lot of the other books do here you see some selected hints and answers and you can see how detailed they are so there's a lot of information it's not just like the answer is two no no uh, Ross does a really good job of giving you thorough solutions or at least some pretty good hints uh, for a lot of the problems. This is extremely useful, and it's actually pretty rare. It's pretty rare to find this in an analysis book. Now, as much as I love the readability of this book, and as much as I praise it because I think it's an excellent book, um, I do remember that when I first lo looked at this book years ago, I did struggle with it. I, I remember I was using the Fitzpatrick book, which is also an excellent book, and there was a specific proof in this book that was more clear to me. But other than that, you know, I still had a hard time with it. And I think the reason is, looking back, it's just because it's advanced calculus. Now, looking at this book now, I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking like, wow, this is so good. And it is so easy to read compared to, say, you know, Rudin's book. So if you're looking for a book on mathematical analysis, I definitely think you should pick this one up. It's only a few dollars currently. 
one of the drawbacks of this book is that the book actually ends. So there are more comprehensive advanced calculus books. For example, the book by Buck contains way more math than this and is a very different read than this. It's also a really good beginner book, but it's way more advanced. So this book does a good job for its target audience, and I think the target audience here is beginners. This is a beginner book, and even if you already know advanced calculus, I think you will benefit a lot from this book because of the clarity. Um, Ross does a really good job explaining the concepts, and he does a pretty good job with his proofs. If you are interested in learning advanced calculus, also known as mathematical analysis, I highly recommend this book. This is probably one of the most beginner-friendly books. I'm a really big fan of the Fitzpatrick book, uh, but this one might have to be a close tie. I mean, this book is really, really good, and it's really good for beginners. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you really want to help out, consider becoming a member of the channel. Take care.